Working up to the splits is no easy task. It requires flexible hips and hamstrings, so today we have Yoga Works program director Maeve McCaffrey here to show us a few stretches that'll get you there. All right, so let's get into this. So we're gonna start with some dynamic stretches so that we can get your joints moving. We're gonna create some stability around the joints, and that's actually where your flexibility is gonna come from. So you're gonna fold in half. Beautiful. And just take a moment there, just kind of settle in. Find a balance in your feet. So you want to be balanced over the arches of your feet. And then I want you to inhale. You can actually slide your hands up onto your shins if you want. And just lengthen your spine with an inhale. And then exhale, just fold right back down again. We're going to do that four more times. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Keep going like that. Engage your quadriceps. Lift your kneecaps on your thighs. Really focus on rooting down and finding space. And then just hold down there and just enjoy that forward fold. So let's go right back to where we were. You're going to come back into your forward okay. fold. And just again, notice where your weight is. So you're going to keep your weight forward. Soften both your knees just to get into this next pose. We're going to take, actually take this split and we're going to turn it upside down. So you're going to take your left leg and you're going to extend it back behind you, keeping your hips square. That's beautiful. So now keep pulling up on that right kneecap. Keep engaging that quadricep and try to find more length in your left leg. Beautiful. If you can, try to walk your hands a little closer to your standing leg. Deepen the crease of your right hip and find more length. Again, keep lengthening out that back leg. I really feel that in my hamstring Beautiful. on my right leg. Yes, yeah. exactly. Same leg is going to go back, so that left leg is going to go back. Now keep your left hand rooted down, and I want you to start to twist your body open. This is half moon pose twisted, so revolved half moon pose. Beautiful. Now stretch your right arm up. Feel the points of energy, hand to hand, head to back foot and then continue to find the same strength you had in standing splits in that right leg here. And I can really feel the energy throughout my legs and my hips starting to open up. Perfect. And again, you should get a sense of if you rock your weight a little bit into the front foot, into the toes, into the base of the big toe, you're gonna get more hamstring. Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna work into single leg pigeon pose, and this is Great. going to help open up your right hip, and it's going to help open up the front of your left hip, your psoas, again, a little bit more of that psoas. So a lot of the time we're focusing on the hamstring for the splits, mm -hmm. but we gotta also remember the back leg has exactly. an important role as well. And this is half of it right here. This is the, the back leg that we need for the splits. Mm -hmm. So in half pigeon pose, you wanna have your, or single leg pigeon pose, you wanna have your right knee a little wider than your right hip, the leg that's in front. Actively flex this foot. So I don't care if your toe is pointed or flexed, but I want the ankle actively involved mm -hmm. so that you're protecting your knee. Exactly. And as long as your hips are square and it feels okay, you can come down onto your forearms and find a little bit more extension in your spine. And then if you press your back foot down actively, yes, do you feel what that just did? It wanted to square it off your hips more and also got your ankle in better alignment with your right. hip. Right, and it activated my quad, my hamstrings, yes. and I can really feel this deep, deep in my right hip. And then when we are coming out, we want to be just as aware as when you're going in. So really stay connected. Mm -hmm. Coming out of the pose is just as important and beautiful. Good. So you're going to walk that foot across. Yes. Beautiful. We're going to move into half splits. We're halfway there. So what I want from you here is, again, that sense of the hips staying square. Keep that back foot active and then start to push your right heel down into the floor. And when you push the heel down, start to pull the toes back. We're coming back to the same stream of thought here. The kneecap lifts, the quadricep engages, and then you're creating space between your heel and your right sitting bone. So hopefully that starts to feel like it's a lot longer. Definitely, I feel that again in my hamstring and my entire leg here is active. So it's protecting my knee as well. Okay, we're halfway there. How do you feel? I feel good, good. let's do this. All right, let's, let's go for it. it. So same engagement, mm -hmm. be kind to yourself, be kind to yourself, be kind to yourself, and just start to extend that front leg out. Yeah. So all the same points that we worked in the other poses, you wanna keep that right kneecap lifting. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing down into that heel to pull back. Wrap the left hip forward, this looks really good knee. Yeah, this back feels foot is amazing. Good, good. And you only have to stay for as long as you want. You know, it is a practice and you wanna ease your way into it. Really be kind and Always remembering coming out of it just as carefully as you went into it. Stay connected and breathe. That was great. I really felt that in my hamstrings and my hips in a good way. Good. Those stretches were definitely effective in easing me into the splits. Thank you so much, Mayu. My pleasure. Thank you. You did so well. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.